A prion star is a theoretical type of compact star made of prions, which are point like particles conceived to be subcomponents of quarks and leptons. Their existence was first theorized in 2005 by Frederick Sanden and Johan Hansen, both from the Lulia University of Technology, Sweden. The theory behind them was that the sub-subatomic particles would have come before subatomic particles, which came before particles, and that the original stars were made of these sub-subatomic particles, with most gradually becoming made of sub-particles, and then particles. However, the theory postulates that it is possible for some stars made of the sub-subatomic particles to remain. It is believed that they may also form out of massive stars that collapse too unstably to become neutron stars, but not enough to become black holes. <laughs> Properties Topic: Orders of magnitude. The mass of a prion star is predicted to be m two times ten twenty four k g t e v lambda three two Display style m sim two times ten carat twenty four kilogram left frac tev lambda right carat tfrac three two, where lambda is the top quark compositeness energy scale. Tev is the number of tera electron volts. The radius of a prion star is estimated to be r three times. Ten minus three M T E V Lambda three two Display style R sim three times ten carat minus three M left frac T E V Lambda right carat T F R A C three two The maximum mass of a prion star is predicted to be Ten two M Display style sim ten carat two M underscore O plus where M Display style M underscore O plus is the mass of the Earth. The maximum radius of a prion star is predicted to be R one M Display style R sim one meter the average density of a prion star is predicted to be 10 23 g c m 3 display style sim 10 carat 23 gram per centimeter carat 3 however the density of the center is predicted to be greater topic Comparison with other stellar objects If they exist, the eigenmode frequency for radial oscillations of a prion star will be 106 greater than that of a neutron star. As the radius will be roughly 105 smaller than the radius of a neutron star, if sound travels through prions at the same speed it does neutrons, then the frequency will be increased by 105, giving GHZ frequencies. If sound travels faster in prions than it does neutrons, the frequency cannot exceed 10 8 m s minus one zero point one M one G H Z Display style sim ten carat eight mis carat minus one zero point one meters exam one gigahertz 
even if the speed of light is approached, the existence of prions could explain ultra-high energy cosmic rays, as no known type of star or object can project cosmic rays with as much energy as they have, going up to 1,021 electron volts. The possibility of a massive star collapsing and, being too unstable to collapse only to a pulsar star, collapsing all the way to a pulsar prion star with a radius of a meter and a mass of 100 Earths, would allow pulsar yields of up to 10 34 V m 10 34 V per meter which would be more than enough for an ultra-high energy cosmic ray. It is believed that any prion star under the maximum mass will be stable, if prions exist, they, and by extension prion stars, will not perform nucleosynthesis. Nor will such stars emit Hawking radiation. It is believed that a prion star will have a large magnetic field, and rapid rotation. Theory and evidence One of the reasons that the theory of prion stars has so few backers, is that the existence of prions would contradict not only the theory of the Higgs boson, but also the standard model of physics. As the Higgs boson was tentatively confirmed by CERN, the prevailing theory at present is that prions' existence is impossible. The two methods that are used to try to find prions, gravitational femtolensing and searching for gravitational waves, have so far yielded nothing. Prions, if they exist, will be impossible to create even with the Large Hadron Collider, as it would require conditions similar to those of the Big Bang. <laughs> 